Hello, once again, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can create a very simple project in HTML or CSS and a bit of JavaScript. Consider subscribing to this channel and don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming video tutorial. Hit the like button, subscribe, and don't forget to turn on the notification bell. There's going to be a lot of giveaways on this channel this year, so stay alert and remember to subscribe. And let me know in the comment section if you've indeed subscribed. Okay, so we're going to jump onto my desktop and I'm going to see how to create this simple project. That allows us to on and off our lights using a simple button. So we're going to have two buttons, on and off buttons. So let's jump right into action. This is the project we're going to build. When you click on turn on, it's going to on this bulb. When you click on turn off, it's going to off this. So this is going to be a simple project. And at the end of the day, we should be able to do this. So we come back to, I'll just open my favorite code editor. That means the VS code editor. And then before that, I'm going to show you my working folder on my desktop so this is my working folder you can see i have the two bobs over here the on and then the off i have my index page and i have my css <coughs> i have my css and this is a new project i'm going to build and i have a different folder for that and this folder contains just the two images okay just watch this video to the end and then don't forget to subscribe and i'm going to show you how to get this so i'll show you how to get this code in order to start with i'm going to first open this folder so i'll click on file and go to open folder and then i've named this new so i'll just open this so when you open this you're going to have these two images over there and i want to create one page so that's the index page. i'll click on the file and go to index index dot html okay so i'm going to have this page and then i'll create another page as well so i'll create the second page which is going to be my css so i'll first create a folder called css and then within this css folder i'm going to create a file called style dot css Okay. so we can just jump right into action then we start coding so i'm first going to generate html template by pressing shift and then the one key on my keyboard this will bring this exclamation sign just hit the tab key and it should generate this template for you to work with so with the title of this project let me just say on and off light let's just name it as it is and i will first give a simple class let's just call it a container okay i'm just going to say container i'm going to create a diff and then let me just call this container class so i'll call it container okay so once we have this all we need to do is to start working on our main project okay so we just have to go ahead and then include our image as well so i'm going to say image and then that image source is going to be first we're going to include the off image on the page this way and alternative you can say 10 off okay this way and also i'm going to give an id to this and i'm going to use the id in our javascript when you get to that stage okay we're going to use the get element by id we're going to include it on our javascript page so i'm going to say bob for now okay so let's go to our main page and then load it now so this is the folder we are working with and then we have our index page let me just open this within our browser and then we have the off bob we have the bob now we have the off and then we need a button below this to be able to turn it on and then off okay so we're going to go ahead and create two buttons below this so the first button is going to be basically the on so i'm going to say button and i'm going to say turn on okay and what we're going to do is i'm going to give some javascript event to by on click event so i'm going to say on on click i'm going to call a class and that class is going to be bob and i'm going to click so i'm going to create this class later on in javascript so this javascript function is going to have value so if it's one then it's going to turn it on and then i'll just duplicate this you can just copy this and paste and then the second will be off okay so this time around when it's off when it's zero then i miss what is on it's off okay so this is going to be like this 
and then we have these two buttons now working so we're going to go ahead and then now add simple javascript okay so you can have these two buttons over here and before that let's try to link our css to our page so within the title here let's say a link and then our css is in a new folder called css folder so this is it and then we can just write a simple can just write a simple javascript okay later on so let's first target our container which is a class and then we'll add some simple properties to it so what we're going to do is that we're going to set a weight of this to around 600 pixels margin we we'll set a margin for this so our margin we're going to set the top and bottom to 50 pixels and then left and right will be auto and then we'll give some padding as well so the padding i'll just give a padding of just 10 okay i'll set the padding to 20 pixels okay so once i'm done with this i'll also add some properties to my button so if you check from here you can see my buttons appear to be very small so i have to add some css property to that so i'll call my button and then i'll say first add a padding as well or add a padding of around 20 pixels and i'll give a background color for this so you can make choose any background color of your choice i'm going to use a chocolate background color okay and i'll give a cursor pointer to pointer so this anytime move my cursor there to appear pointed okay initially if, if i load this place you can see it's just giving a cursor but it will bring a hand pointer once i reload this page you can see if you move your cursor now it's pointing as a and so now if you click on on if you turn this on if you click on off you should turn it off as well so that's what we need to do from this stage remember to subscribe and don't forget to turn on your notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming video because it's going to be a lot of project based tutorial right here on this channel so let's create our javascript here so we're going to go to our main page and then in order to include javascript here we're going to say script and then within this we're going to create a function so i'm going to say function and i'm going to give the name of the function bob okay we've already used this in several occasions so we need to create a function to handle those events so i'm going to create a value so there's going to be argument here for value and then within this i'll create a variable and i'll call it what image okay so within this i'm going to say if i'm going to say if the value is equal to zero then you should do something so if the value is equal to zero then i'm going to assign the off image to this so this is going to be off dot png that's the name of my image and i'm going to say else i'm going to say else then you should assign else then you should assign the what off image the on image rather okay so this will be on dot png so this is basically what is going to happen this will not work because we need to reference our html that's the image over here folder the image we have to reference it by including the html in our javascript in order to do that we'll come down here and say document dot get element by id and then what we need to do is that we'll now reference our bulb okay okay and then we we'll say dot else so you want to the source of that image and this is our image that we created okay okay so i just end this like this and if i go back and i reload this page and i click on on you can see that it basically this is not turning on if i click on the off it's going to turn this one off as well so on off on off okay so we've been able to create this simple project so you want to subscribe and i'm going to leave the code a link to the code at the description of this video you can download it and practice it as well leave the comment at the comment section and let me know if you've subscribed bye bye